Who's Josh oh, yeah. Jackavu? Jackavu. He's like Puerto Rican or something. Josh Jackavu, the comic. He's like Puerto Rican or something. Who's Josh yeah. Jackavu? Well, hello there. Welcome to another episode here of the JC. Recorded here in the Josh Cast Studios, which is my parents' basement in Northeast Mayfair, Philadelphia. It is Tuesday night here, and uh, I had two job interviews today. That's right. I had one at Staples, which is kind of ironic because uh, if you listen to the BG and ED show, which, by the way, uh, is up now, um, and you can find it on my YouTube channel at JAK Comedy, as well as the Grilled Cheese music video, which nobody watched, which, you know, I'm not hurt by. I don't blame people for not watching me make and eat a grilled cheese, but the song is actually okay. The song's a little catchy. It's not funny. But uh, what are you going to do? And uh, I had one job interview at Staples. And then I had another one at uh, this call center over the phone. So hopefully I get at least one job. I mean, the, the, the Staples place is really far. It's in South Philly. So it's like over an hour away. And the other job, the call center job, is 10 minutes from my house. But I'm not expecting to get either one. But it would be nice, you know, to get a job. Uh, somewhere, not that it matters in that. Anyways, um, this uh, on this episode, I would be putting up a uh, new prank phone call. It's right unreleased from Skype. I called this guy on Craigslist selling Sega, Sega um, actually selling, uh, what was it, PlayStation games or a drink? Uh, no, Sega J Dreamcast games. And I prank call him as Lipo, and I actually end up making the guy laugh. So you can hear that. And also, once again, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channels, uh, Josh Jack. And Jack Comedy, I just put up the classic prank call from the last episode. I put up the BG and ED show, which you can uh, you can hear at tinyurl.com slash um, BE show, or go to my YouTube channel. The Grilled Cheese Music video is up. And that's it. I've got for two minutes. Let's get to the um, uh, topical news, which is pretty much uh, most of the show. You know, pretty much 60-70% 60, 60, of the show. Oh, by the way, last night I went to Good Good Comedy Theater, and I was not expecting to get on because it was only a two-hour show. And the last two times it was a two-hour show, I didn't get on because they had a 9-11 show, and I got on last night. So that was pretty cool. Uh, tomorrow night, I don't know if I'm going to get any stage time, and next Wednesday, I'm doing a clean comedy show. Now, here's the problem. I can do a clean set, but the guy wants me to do a squeaky clean set. It's going to, at the time you hear this episode... It will be, um, this week, it will be, um, September 20th at 19th and Girard, which is in Center City, at, the, at this bike cafe. So, um, I can go there, I, I, I want to perform, I get up to 10 minutes, but the guy said it has to be clean and, like, family-friendly. I'm like, family? Dude, this is stand-up comedy. I don't know one comedian that has a family-friendly act. Even clean comedians have edgy stuff, but, anyways, uh, once again... Uh, they have a concert going on right now with celebrities to raise money. I saw Usher and other stars, and uh, that's really nice. They're trying to raise money for the, you know, Florida and the Hurricane Irma and the Hurricane, uh, all this other stuff. Uh, Jones B sample from USC uh, 214 also positive for steroids. So yeah, it's not shocking that these athletes take steroids. I think Daniel Daniel Tosh had a really good joke. He said, "Let athletes take steroids so they can give us the best entertainment possible." So yeah, I mean. Uh, Trump weighing in aggressively strategy against uh, One Nation. Hopefully, it's North Korea, right? Over 52,000 raised for vendor after video of incident goes viral. Howard Stern shocked to realize he likes a young celebrity. How is that news? I was just listening to Howard Stern right now, but Howard Stern likes a lot of fruity stuff. He likes Harry Styles. You listen to his show, he likes uh, Miley Cyrus and stuff. He's a pretty girly guy, but I like Howard. I mean, he's changed and stuff. I like him. I still listen to his show. I wish he would be more edgy on the interviews and stuff, but hey, what are you going to do, right? Uh, rescue Scale Cliff to rescue the abandoned baby seal. Tom Brady refuses to comment on the Kaepernick controversy. Why is shooting? YouTube biggest star blurts out slur during live uh, stream. That's that PewDiePie guy. So this guy, you know, he makes millions of dollars off YouTube. Folks, I'm lucky if I get a dollar off YouTube. Like a lot of people. Millions. Woman dies from disease after a stay at Graceland Hotel. So don't stay at the Graceland Hotel, pretty much. Thousand-year-old sword uh, found by reindeer hunter. This guy was out fucking... <laughs> who the fuck... 
Who the fuck hunts reindeers? Does this guy hate Christmas that bad? Also, I heard this biracial little boy, he claims that he was, uh, he was knifed by some uh, skinheads. So that's pretty fucked up. If that's true, why would he make it up? He's an eight-year-old boy, right? Uh, judge makes Poforto ruling in the Amtrak crash case. Let's see. Yeah, Hillary Clinton's talking shit about Trump and everything. You lost. Talk all the shit you want. Major cities mayor resigns amid sex abuse allegations. Yeah, so she lost, and she's still talking shit. Go write your fucking book. Go fuck yourself. There's not a lot of topical news going on. Thank God I yapped for two, three minutes. About a bunch of plugs. Okay, so that's not it for the show. That is it for the segment. After this clip, you are going to hear the new prank phone call. Also, I think we take the uh, show, the BG and ED show, every Thursday. I'm not sure. I haven't heard from B, B Lion yet. But uh, more uh, on that. And once again, check out my two YouTube channels. This is your favorite podcast show that you don't listen to. This is the first and worst pot Philadelphia podcast. And you got to keep listening to find out what happens next. And what happens next is going to be, um, you know, public freakout commentary, more topical news, sober commentary with drunk people, and anything else that happens. You hear it here, folks. Keep listening. Uh, yes, hi. Uh, this is uh, Mark. I saw your Craigslist ad. Are you still looking for some, uh, some Sega Dreamcast games? Yeah. Yeah, I live uh, near the Ramad on the boulevard, and uh, I have a few games. I'm not sure if you're interested. Uh, one of them is uh, it's the Air Bud game. Uh, remember the dog? They used, that movie they used to play basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, nine. Okay, how many games got all together? I got about ten games. Okay. Yeah, and there's some of them are really like uh, you know where like one's called uh, Wacky Races. Uh, Where did you say you lived again? Uh, a, a Craigslist. You posted in the wanted section. I'm gonna Google see how far you are. Okay. Because if you live too far away, you know, it's like uh, nothing else really matters if you live too far. Right. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, you're a long drive, man. Um, for ten games. Uh, you got anything else you want to sell? Cause now, do you like uh, fighting? Ga- do you like these fighting games? Because I have some fighting games here. I'm not sure. I'm a dealer, so I buy anything I can resell, and I don't just deal in in uh, video games. I buy antiques, collectibles, comic books, toys, uh, musical instruments. Do you have any other kinds of video games? No, nah, I just have some Dreamcast games lying around. That's all I have. Okay, uh, well, some Dreamcast games are worth a lot of money, and most of them are not worth much. Tell you what, why don't you, can you text me a picture, and make sure, a couple of pictures, make sure it's a good picture so I can see the title of the game, and if you happen to have a game in there that's worth 80 or $90, then I'll drive out and I'll buy them all. But if you don't, I think I'm just going right. to pretty much say thanks for calling. Now, do you, do you still do you still want a picture of my penis too? <laughs> I knew something was up, man. No, nah, I mean I because oh, I because you know usually I get the angles wrong. I got a really good one the other day. This thing looks massive. I must have used the I zoom. Think, Tim, you were a nerd. I thought you were just a nerd. Dude. Good joke, dude. Yeah, you know, so you know <laughs> the angles look really good. You know, I just. I must. I used the zoom. Fe- <laughs> I used the zoom feature, and uh, you know. Josh Cast Studios is booming. Well, it's Thursday night here. Last night I went to the O'Neill's open mic on South Street. Got there super early. Got on super early. Got some laughs, and I left. And today I want to talk about something before we get to the uh, topical news. I just recorded the second episode of the BG and ED show, and it was kind of a disaster in a good way and a bad way. First, the bad way, uh, Beeline and I were texting, and he said, how's 8 o'clock sound? That's the same time he did last week. And I said, okay, that sounds good. And then I pretty much said, look, I got some ideas. I want to host a show last week. You hosted the show. I want to steer the ship. I got a special guest plan. I got some ideas. Let's do that. And he wrote back and said, dude, this isn't your show. 
This is our show. It's everybody's show. You can't just control everything. And I wrote back and said, what are you talking about? You controlled me last week. You told me when I can speak. I said, forget it then. And he wrote back and said, oh, yeah, you can't just do what you want and control everybody. I said, I didn't say control everybody. I, it was a misunderstanding, but I pretty much said, no, dude. I meant, like, I just want to host. Like, we can all take, like, you last week you hosted. This week I can host. And he said, oh, okay. So the show's supposed to start at 8. And I knew the show would be a few minutes late. So, which is fine. And it was 8.15, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Finally, I thought he was going to cancel. And then uh, the other two uh, co-hosts of the show, Inam and Derek, they got there late. They didn't know that um, the show was going to start at 8. They got there around 8.30. And uh, it was kind of off to a rough start. So Brian and I were recording, uh, Beeline, and I were recording. And then I had a guest plan for the show. I texted this guy who is uh, Nick, who's been on the show before, Nick Doritos. Uh, from the comedy cabaret and past progressive hour and i had i tried to get him on skype on a three-way so i couldn't get him on i tried to look it up on google while we're doing the show and uh finally uh we end up going to google hangouts beeline and i and then finally we got nick on and uh pretty much the bit was i texted nick and said he said what do you want me to do and i said look i want you to call in and pretty much ask brian beeline uh for comedy advice and just because that's how he first met him. He pretended his father died and asked him, Brian, for county ways. I said, I want you to do that. Say your uncle died. And instead, Nick threw me under the bus and said, hey, Josh wants me to do this. And then it comes up to a rough start. So he kind of blew the bit. Long story short, he ended up staying on the phone for like 45 minutes. And he ended up pissing off two of the co-hosts. And then finally, uh, Beeline hung up. And I don't know if the episode's going to go up, but I was going to quit the show today. I think Enam was going to quit the show a few times. Listen, the show's a, a disaster. But I thought there were some good parts in it, so I have to edit it. I don't know if uh, Beeline wants to put it up. But anyway, I'm going to do some topical news, and then we'll get to the, uh, you know, public freakout commentary. Uh, so it's really sad. Uh, hurricane, many um, old people passed away in a retirement home. I did a joke about it, sadly. I, I don't think it's funny at all, but I was just going for a cheap laugh on the podcast. It says, Mayweather defends Trump's crude comments about women. Yeah, well, listen. Some black people do like Trump. There's not a lot. Um, also, um, who's the actor that died from the Sopranos? Oh, yeah, this black woman. It says, ESPN tried to take host off the air after Trump condemnation. She's not apologizing, says here. I'm trying to get to the uh, Sopranos actor who died. It's something Vincent. I know I'm terrible at this uh, podcast and thing. I'm... I hope they uh, say who died, because uh, I think it was like 90-something years old, possibly. It says, Indians set record for longest winning streak. Hurricane Irma evacuated gets unexpected big lucky break. She won a $10,000 scratch-off. My mom's jealous. Sex offender arrested after two... Uh, going after two children, allegedly. Oh, he, maybe he didn't do it. Bizarre sea creature watches up Texas Beach after Harvey... Woman escapes car on train tracks right before it smashed. Cool. Uh, NFL fan raises $100,000 to process the recent move by the league. What, are they getting rid of the Indian sting finally? Uh, Zane Malik admits he never really spoke to, spoke to ex-bandmate. LA school board presidency charged with conspiracy. Let me uh, find out the actor who passed away. Of course, you don't need this podcast to know. I mean, time you, you folks can fucking Google this shit. Um, you know, for yeah, you know, I, I fucking get the answer. Uh, Frank Vincent, that's the name. He was 78 years old. There you go. Rest in peace. I like the Soprano show. A lot of people say it was their favorite, but I thought I, I, I would have put up there my favorite. It was too much talking, you know. I'm a fan of the action. I'm not a fan of a lot of the long, it's a situation, you know, monologue. But hey, listen, a lot of people would disagree with that. Uh, House passes major bill targeting gang members. Is that the ICP Juggalos thing? Because there's going to be a gathering of the Juggalos. NASA robots who plunges death into Saturn on Saturday. Uh, waitress makes shocking move after officers walk into a restaurant. We don't serve your kind around here. It says, uh, when a group of police officers walk through a Red Robin where Jessica Dunbar worked at Club of Survivors, she means he sensed something was wrong. Uh, according to was bothering, she left them speechless. It's generally understood the police officers put their lives on the line. Okay, so when nine officers walked into Red Robin, she immediately could tell her own father was a cop. Uh, okay, so what happened? Sensing the urge in any way, Jessica walked over the table and asked if everything was alright. 
what is the point of this? It turned out that I was just coming from a funeral. Oh. So she blew every single one. Alright, no, 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 no. Jesus, they, they, they're just fucking... This waste of my time. You know? Reading all this shit. Uh, ab abuse victim uses pizza delivery app to save own life. So let's see what it says here. Let's see how to do this. Let's see how to save your own life using a pizza app. This is very smart. Oh, you gotta read a whole story. So I guess she used the pizza app and said, Yeah, I want a large pepperoni, and can you fucking save my life? Um... Okay, so that's it for the uh, topical news. Very lame, I know. Gonna overcome some public freakout. We go from there, folks. All right, public freakout commentary. Zeus put up three clips this week, not two, not one, three. So let's jump right into it. Episode 74, 422 minute mark. This is a guy gets confronted for recording the homeless. And then this uh, homeless guy follows him, and this other guy, he's doing like a documentary, and he's a Trump supporter, he's blaming Obama. Let's get into this. So one of the net effects of the uh, Rose Festival that you can see where they've got it all fenced off is the concentration of the bum population that it focuses at the end of Burnside. And you can just see, you know, in the middle of a workday, just... Liberalism at its finest, just people fucking off, smoking weed. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah, you're a perfect example. Yeah, so this white uh, homeless guy just said something to him, and he says something back, and this guy's going to be the one, the one that ends up following him. Look okay. at the numbers of them. They're in the hundreds. They're in the hundreds. The Obama... The, Ob the Obama economy at its finest. This guy's got balls, though. This guy with the camera. He's just standing there with his camera pointing at people. I wasn't speaking to you. I wasn't speaking to you. I wasn't speaking to you. After you spoke to me. After you spoke to me. Bums. Bunch of bums. Bunch of... Bunch of bums. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so now this black guy... Uh, I'm not sure if he's, uh, I don't, he doesn't look homeless to me as a phone. He pulls out his camera phone and he starts following the guy. And as soon as he saw the black guy, it's kind of funny. He was talking to the white bum. As soon as he sees the black guy, now he starts running away. He <laughs> said, it doesn't matter. And now the black guy is going to pull out his phone and start recording him. And the white bum are going to follow him. And now he's, he feels like he's being harassed. And we go from there. It doesn't matter. It's a public park. It's a public park. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Public place. First Amendment. First Amendment. You don't like it? Move to a different country. I don't care. Good. Now he's being recorded. Great. 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 It's a free country. It's a free country. I didn't say you could. I didn't say you. I just got, wasn't following you. I wasn't following you. I wasn't following you. Too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. It's a public park. There's no laws. There's no laws about it. There is. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. You're in. You're out of your league, buddy. There is no law. It's ex explicitly allowed by the law. Explicitly allowed by the law. Go back to your bum. Go back to your. Go back to your bum friends. Go back to your bum friends. Go back to your. All right, so that was a good one. Wanted to put that one on there. Now let's get to the 15. Uh, there's one I was going to put on here, but it's kind of long. It's this guy, he brought $11 into a bank and he got mad. This one is a... Uh, uh, this one I had to put on because this black guy filming is... He's got a lot of balls. He starts filming this black lady who he doesn't know in a Metro PCS. And she's upset about her service or something. And he tells her to shut the fuck up. And then she tells him to shut the fuck up. And then he runs over to her. And they're going back and forth. And I wish I could do something like this. This guy's got balls. Let's let's get let's get into this. Oh, like seriously. Yeah. We're trying to help. Oh you. no, I don't need your help. She's helping me, and so is the person on the other line. Attend to that customer, please. I know but you're just causing. Okay, me. whatever. Yeah. Get out of my area right here this because it's just soul. gonna get so worse. Go over there and help them, and let her help me. I don't no. want to talk to you. She's already on the phone That's with Metro. Right. That's right. She's just For real. Just be civilized, baby. Chill out. I don't want to hear that shit. Calm down, man. Yeah. Man, no. 
It ain't that serious, cause it's the phone. So I think she paused for a second. She probably thought he was defending her, but he wasn't. Oh. Nigga, my name is all over here, nigga. Fuck, Better relax. Shit. What's that, hello? Two black people calling each other niggas. Come on now. What's all that? What's up, Get your phone What's fixed, cuz. I don't care. I don't care don't either. Stay in your lane and don't talk nigga, to me. You ain't got no lane. You better shut the fuck up. I got a lane, and you nigga. stay in that lane. You get fucked up so fast. Nigga, you can get fucked up so nigga. fast. Why you sign LBC 23? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Go fuck about none of that. Fuck that. You think I do? Fuck you in your hood. You don't fuck you. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> Keep running your mouth, then make some fucking money for a lot of it. I don't care. Woo woo. Woo woo. Who give a fuck? fuck? Post that on Facebook. Don't tell me who rich chick is. Rich chick is like a dick. Fuck you mean? <laughs> bitch ass nigga. <laughs> fuck out of here. Come over here and you touch me, it's going to be a fucking problem. So now he's getting in her face. This guy's awesome. He's got the balls to do that. This guy just pulled out his phone. He gets into it where now he's right in her face. This, man, I wish I could do this. This is great. Get the fuck back. Nobody was even dealing with you. Go back over there and handle your issue. Okay? Stay in your lane. Well, they're not driving. Dude, don't run up on him. I don't care about that. Look at how fuck you up. Don't run so now she pushes him, and I guess he pushes her back a little bit. Run up on him. I'll fuck you up. Try that shit if you want to. Try that if you want to. Mm. So now this uh, this one is really good. I like this one. This is the last one for episode 74. This guy's yelling at this Indian guy. The Indian guy works in a drive through at McDonald's. And the Indian guy has a really good comeback. And now we'll get to that. And the guy gets out of his car to try to fight him. This guy was so salty, the guy in the car. I love these drive through arguments. I can watch them all day. So apparently, I guess the uh, argument is the guy's been in the drive-thru for 12 minutes waiting on four Sundays. What are you doing? I'll smile. What'd that do for you? Get your wet? Okay, so here's a really good comeback. The white guy in the drive-thru who's being a, uh, just said to the Indian guy, oh, you're taking a picture of me? Because the Indian guy pulled his phone out. He said, am I making you wet? And now the Indian guy says, I get you wet? She gets wet. Oh, he says, she gets wet, pointing to his daughter. Now the guy gets mad. Perfect comeback. Touche, my friend. What'd you say? What'd you say about my daughter? What'd you say about my daughter? <laughs> you gotta love that, folks. Uh, he got you there. Now we're gonna get to episode 75 at the 50, uh, 0.57 second mark. And this is a uh, a woman yelling at these uh, skateboarding kids. And they kind of go at it. It's pretty uh, pretty interesting. Let's take a look at this. Nobody was racing. Are you serious? You're... So they said she had a his face. Apparently, she thinks that they hit her car. Nobody knows if it's true or not. Calling me fucking ugly? Look at yourself. Hey, How old are you, 12? I can lose weight. You're ugly. Why are you yelling no, at me? No, excuse me. You can lose hey, weight. You should her. lose weight. So obviously the kid's fat. Ignore her. Ignore her. Ignore her. Ignore How her. old are you guys? Like 12? 10, actually. I, I, Why are you yelling at us? Look because I saw we you. We weren't even here. You just said, oh, I've been here the whole time. You don't even you are, grow up. You're we, I now she's doing an impression of a guy. That's gender shaming. I just got here. I was legit. I'm I walking. saw you guys in your car. What car was I in? Your, what car? You were in a Corolla. No, oh, no. Oh. I actually came when I did. Why is she arguing with these kids? It's not going to get you anywhere. Oh. I actually came on a Nissan. I don't care what you came in. I saw him. Why are you yelling at us? Because I saw you okay, guys. Okay, can you please talk on no, me? No, I saw okay, you guys talk, all the way. Me. I saw let's you guys. Go, oh. All right, so this, this goes on. Now, this next one's pretty long. I was going to cut this one out, but I'll play a little bit of it. This one's pretty funny. This guy is taking this girl out named Rosie. And her parents are very Hispanic. I guess her mom. He says he's going to bring her home late. She says no. And this guy has such a laid-back voice. Just like, Rosie, come on. And this is like six, seven, eight minutes long, so I can't play it all day. We're fast-forwarded. But I want to put this in. It's pretty, uh... And then the mom's grabbing the daughter, and she's crying, and then the sister's just standing there. It's crazy. What? No, we're going to meet someone. Okay. Maybe. No, he said he's going to meet someone. 
not to the yeah, priest. No. To the Bereshim. Yeah. Um, okay, so, again, Lion? No, Lion to me more, all right? Okay, escucha, no, Lion. Okay, you can tell it here, all right? Um, if you can, if you, okay, you tell me. I can't, I'm, we're, we're going out tonight. Eh, eh, what time? Um, well, we're meeting up with my friend Marcus and Matt, and we'll probably be out till one or two. No, no, sorry, no one or two, sorry. Yeah. I'll well, tell uh, you, I'll tell you the another day, and I'll tell you now. Yeah. You have plenty of time now, 11.30. All right, I'll bring her home tomorrow, probably. No, 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 no. I'll tell you not tomorrow. You know, venís once y media, eh? Ex excuse me. Please go in, please go in. Go in. Rosie, are, you, are we going out tonight or not? Oh, well, let's go. No, 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 no going. No. This guy is so just laid back. Rosie, Rosie, do you want to get the dick or not? Come on, Rosie. Why? Why? What's the problem? You, like you tell me you're going to the movies. We are. I'm going to eat. And we are. Eat we are. Rosie, let's just go. <laughs> Mommy, don't you do this? Yes, stop. Okay. No, it's up to her. She can leave at any time. What do you think you are? You What do you think you are? You know. Oh, men. Stupid men. So I don't scare you. Mommy, did you So now the mother's grabbing Rosie by the arm, and now she's like, oh, you're hurting my arm. Please, can I not? No, what? Maybe you call me for that. Come on, Rosie, let's just go. Rosie, 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 just let's go. It doesn't matter about your present. I can't go, Mama has my arm. Well, <laughs> so it's really funny. The mom's just pouring the daughter's arm like crazy. And he's like, come on, Rosie, let's go. He's not doing anything but recording this. He's like, come on, Rosie, let's go. And she's like, why well, can't? She's yanking my fucking arm off my shoulder. What? Break free. This is disgraceful. Listen, you guys are you disgraceful. So they tried to run away from her, and the mom just ran right behind and grabbed her. So you make a mistake. You make all this. No, you, know you are me. making this you drama. You are making this drama. You are making this drama. You, 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 you. Rosie, come with me. Come with me. We want to talk. What are you doing? Talking. Why are you so violent? Why are you so violent? Come on, you push me there. No, I didn't. Well, you. No, I don't have anything to hide. I'm taking out. Maybe you have daughters and sons. No, I don't. Just, Rosie, you're going to have to run. Cause <laughs> so Rosie's running in her heels. She wants that dick bad. All right, so let's get to the 13, 33-minute uh, mark. And this is a either a Mexican or a black woman. She may be Mexo-black. And she's knocking on this uh, woman's door because she called the cops on her, this white lady. And it's kind of funny because she, she's a prime example, this black woman, of not knowing the recording laws. So let's hear this. Yeah? Keep calling the police on you. Keep calling the police on me. You see them right there? Take your phone out my face. I'm not giving you permission. You're at my door at 1 o'clock in the morning. Take your phone out. Yeah. See, thank you. you. See, see, you see, see, you see, see what she's doing? You can't see what she's doing. Take the phone out my face. You can't. That's see what she's doing. Yeah, that's she has to be recording me. Yeah, that's like, yeah. that's she's telling her not that's to record me. That's not against the law. She knocked on her door. What do you mean it's not against the law? So another dumb bitch that doesn't know law. There's two cops standing right there. And they're saying it's not against law. You're knocking on her door and her property, and you're saying you can't record me. I'm not. It doesn't matter if you give permission or not. You're allowed to record in public, unless on private property. And so many people do not know this. It's not against the law. You get recorded you know all the time. It's not against the law. It's not against the law. Tell her stop recording me. What do you mean you can't? He just said it's not against the law, you dumb fucking coon. It's not against the law. I just suggest you guys stay away from Call the police on me one more time. 
Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? No, I'm promising you Okay, then do... Oh, so to make a threat in front of two cops. That's very smart. All right, let's fast forward along here. We get to episode 76, the third episode. Now, this is a black woman being very racist to a Mexican woman. They say black people can't be racist. This Mexican girl just had a problem... Mexican lady had a problem at a Dunk some sort of Dunkin' Donuts or McDonald's drive through and this black lady, very fat, ugly black woman, uh, wearing a green shirt, uh, pretty much says something very racist to Mexicans. And uh, it's very rude, so let's hear this. This is right in the beginning at the 0 0.31 second mark. So when they ask me about you, you can put all of, you need to go ahead on with all that. When they ask me about you, I don't care, lady. When they ask me about you, last okay. night, they just say, I don't okay. care. Okay, you can go, you hold up my line. No, can you do it right now? Okay, without you can go with all that. Can you do the same can thing? Can you go? Can you do the same can thing? You can you do the same thing? Can you do the same thing? Can you do the same thing? Donald Trump. Can you do the same thing? So she's pretty much saying Donald Trump, meaning... Go back to your country. We're going to put a wall up, you spick. Once again, very racist. Imagine if she was black and the Mexican lady said, Go back to Africa. Oh, big deal, right? Donald Trump. Can you do the same Donald thing Trump. without the window yes. closed? Donald Trump. Can you do the same thing without the window Donald closed? Trump. Can you say Donald Trump? Can you do the same thing without the window you closed? Up my line, lady. No, no, no. I just asked you. Okay. Can you do it? All no. That. When you do it, I can no, move. I'm not doing well, nothing. Well, when I'm home. Well, you can stay right there. I can move. Can okay. Can you say deportation? Can you say that? Can you? Can you spell deportation? Can you, can now she's saying you're gonna be deported and everything. Now this is an amazing thing. I mean, black people were slaves. They come over here to America, and then they always bring it up. Slavery, slavery. Now, all of a sudden, they're the white people now. Now, they're telling other people to go back to their country. See how it all works, folks? You do the same you thing you, you do before. What you need to do is you need to get the fuck on. That's what you need to do. Oh. oh. So, the Mexican lady ends up speaking to another black woman who's just as stupid. Now, she's not as ignorant, but she wouldn't give the name, and I'm not even going to bother to play it. It just makes me sick, folks. That's what I call black privilege. Now, we're going to get to the 12 point... Uh, 32 uh, minute uh, mark of this video and this is a black uh, an old Chinese lady and she threatens to uh, landlord charges tenant with an axe oh yeah I love it you gotta love an angry old Chinese lady no, I'm sorry Mrs. McCon I don't want to fucking hear what Mrs. McCon yes. Mrs. McCon I don't want to hear your fucking nonsense that's son get your car out he should have spoken to me, Nazi. This, this parking over here. This is, is your fucking music going on. This is no. <laughs> what the fuck is that music? Is that Gregorian chant? Nobody's parking. The entrance. This is a landlord. This is the this entrance is to my home. That yes, looks directly into my bedroom. Don't worry about that. You'll be, you'll be numbered. You're going out. You didn't even speak decently to me. Oh, no, no, you didn't. Well, I'm asking you to move your car. Now you're not. He uh. He look -a like a man. Remember Miss Swan from Mad TV? No, no you will pay for it, my darling. I won't pay for anything. No, no. What are you doing? Holy shit, I think it's her husband. That's the tenant. He's got an axe now. And he's had enough. So I married an axe murderer. Well, I guess it worked. That bitch shut the fuck up. Now we're going to go to the 14, uh, 25 minute mark. Let's see what this one is. I'm not sure. Okay, so I, this is the last one. I put this in here because... This uh, landlord guy has a really funny accent. He screams really weird. And this will end the public freak out. You're an animal. You're an animal. On agenda. I told you. I told you. No, you told me. I wanted to bring the notice. You told me I have no. Come here. I give you a check. Okay, yeah, I give you a check. Okay, give me that now. What accent is that? Fuck it, go down. Fuck it, go down. <laughs> it's okay. gotta be Greek or Arabic or some shit. Oh, it's awful. Wait, wait five minutes. Hey, give me, give me, give me, give me my rent. Okay, wait five minutes. Oh! Wait. Wow, he really wants that rent. All right, so that's going to conclude the public freakout commentary. I don't think I'm ever going to catch up because the online fails YouTube channel puts about four or five a week. Zeus seems to be putting more up. Man, never going to get through this, but one day we will.
All right, it's Saturday night here, and last night I was editing the second episode of the BJ and ED show, and it's all over. Now, I don't want to get into this for too long. Here's what happened. Long story short, because the uh, B-Line does not want me to post the episode, which I'm probably gonna. I had a guest on, a surprise guest. This guest did some poking at B-Line and his friends, and not like a roast, but just, you know, critiquing the show, critiquing B-Line, critiquing his girlfriend critiquing Derek, stuff like that. So I was it took me an hour to edit because for some reason B Lion his uh, volume was real low in everything he said. So I had to put on the editing program. I just had to take everything he said, separate it, uh, put the volume up, it took a long time and then he texts me last night while I'm editing goes, We don't want this episode posted anywhere. I said even as a Josh Cast episode, like a lost episode, he goes, No, he goes, You had a chip on your shoulder the whole night. Now, there was an argument because I said I wanted to host last night. They thought I meant I wanted to take control of the show. And then I said something about his girlfriend's Instagram, but I was joking. She got a per- she took it personal. So, uh, I think the show's over. It pretty much is. Because I'm pissed because I edited it for an hour. And then all of a sudden, you know, he tells me, Oh, we don't want it posted anywhere. Fuck off. I'm probably going to post the episode anyway. But anyways, we're, we're, I'll sleep on it. We'll see what, uh, you know, see what happens. So yeah, let's get the topical news, odd news, and such. You know, tonight's sober commentary with drunk people, of course. Let's see, uh, LeBron might sign with the Lakers. Saying nobody wants to uh, play in Cleveland. Isn't that what Kobe Bryant raped that white woman? Seems like a pretty, pretty bad place to go. Uh, police made gruesome discovery man's truck uh, during traffic stop. Uh, there's a black man who beheaded the woman. He's getting the death penalty, possibly. Oh, he had body parts. Oh, well, maybe he had him in ice. Uh, this guy looks like kind of like DMX if he was a basketball player. Woman tracks down fellow jurors to find out they regret sentencing man to death. A uh, man caught on camera stealing an entire scratch <laughs> ticket suspenser. I think this is a 7-Eleven. Students say they were served moldy, disgusting food at school cafeteria. It looks gross. I can't tell, though, what, what school cafeteria food. Um, beautiful this weekend so far, huh? How about that weather? Right. Former CIA head reveals the tents of the Bin Laden. I already heard that story, the Bin Laden raid on a think, Opie and Jimmy or something, or Jim Norton show. Uh, police seek out man who's stealing a corpse clothing. Oh, wow. I don't think there's really... It says, Blood Father dies encountering a common yard pest. Okay, so that's not... Uh, we're almost done this show. All right, If you already listened to the whole thing, might as well stick around for the uh, sober commentary and then wrap this show up with some odd and topical news. These hoes refuse to give up the pussy. They're selfish with their pussy. That's why I don't approach or dance with them anymore. It's a waste of my night. I don't chase these hoes. I don't talk to them because they're selfish with the pussy. They're selfish with their pussy. They're selfish with their pussy. Hey, how you doing? Sober Commentary here. It is 2.01 right now, and I am in Old City, and you might think I'm very drunk, but no, the truth of the matter is I only had a can of beer tonight at PBR. The best $3.50 that I've ever spent. Very nice. So, what? my nights are getting worse and worse, man. I don't know what it is. Um, last night was shit. Tonight was a little bit better, but still shit. Maybe it's just down here in Old City. I don't know. I had to stop hanging out down here. But anyways, here's what happened. Last night, my goal was to go to Cuba Libre. So I put my dress shoes on. I put on my dancing shoes. And I was down here. And I was I got out here around 10, 30 or something. Uh, I sat around. I went to the uh, National uh, Mechanics. I was there for a little while. And... This girl at the uh, bar, she started bump. She like, 
she bumped me over with her ass, and she was like, I'm here now. And I was like, well, I've been standing here for an hour. And she goes, I don't care. And she tries, she's talking to her boyfriend. She tries to, like, knock me over. And I'm like, so I just pushed her back. And then finally, about 20 minutes later, she came up to me and said, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry about knocking. And I just walked away from her. Like, you know, like, fuck you. You know what I mean? Uh, the bouncers at National Mechanics know I have a hard time getting laid. And they like to make fun of me. But they're cool, though. They're nice to me. But they know I have no chance. Of getting late. I don't even try anymore. That's why I came up with that catchy uh, theme song you just heard. I just made that up in my crazy head. So that's, uh, oh yeah, so here's what happened. So last night, I think, I can't think of anything else happened besides the white girl pushing me. I I pretty much stood at the bar at Nationals. I sat around a lot. It was very nice out, like tonight. And then I went to um, the fucking, uh, oh yeah, so I was going to go to Cuba Libre. There was a huge line. So I went to Plow. Then I went back to National Mechanics, stood around more, sat around, wasted my whole night. Then finally at 1.15, I tried to go to Cuba, Cuba Libre, and guess what? They charge $5 now. Now, on Saturday nights, they charge 10 and if you sign up for the guest list, it's 5 they charge $5 now. Now, it makes sense because this, is a, this place has been free for a long time. And it's a very nice place. You know, very nice. They have it upstairs, a lot of space, very you know, awesome music and stuff. Very kind of hard not to charge, but I knew it was going to happen, and sure enough, my nightmare happened. So I had $5 last night in my wallet, but I didn't want to spend it. So I walked right out of line. I said, excuse me. I walked right out. I said, I am not paying five fucking dollars for a place I've been going to for years. And plus, it was one twenty, one twenty five. So that means I'm gonna sp- for 35 minutes, I'm going to spend $5 and then, what, get rejected by these uh, fucking hoes? You know? It's, no, it's not going to happen. So that's all that happened last night. I said I actually left out early last night. Got home around two thirty. It was awesome. I had the two twenty five bus. And then tonight, I should have not left out early. My goal tonight was to go to Morgan's Pier, stay there, or go to La Peg like I was last week, that outdoor bar, and then go to, um, you know, uh, back up here at Old City. Try to get up here at one, and that's it. So pretty much, it started raining. And uh, here, another thing happened. I got to, I was about three stops away from 2nd Street, which is where Old City is, and something happened. I don't know if the train stopped running, someone killed herself, or there's a fire. I don't know what happened. They made us get off at Burks, and then we had to, um, you know, uh, fucking uh, take the shuttle bus, which is only about 15, 20 minutes. So I took the shuttle bus up here. It was kind of raining. I was standing outside in the rain. I got up here at like 9.15, which is super fucking early. I sat around for like 45 minutes. I went to Drinkers. I got me a PBR, which is two fifty with a dollar tip three fifty. What a country, right? Best country ever. And then I got a little tipsy drunk. I sat around tonight. I went to the National Mechanics, and I was there for a while. I was there for an hour, which is rare. And I was really enjoying the music. I was dancing by myself. There was a lot of girls next to me. I didn't make a single approach. That's why I came up with that theme song. These girls are selfish with their pussy. Uh, I was like, I'm not going to approach. One of them kind of was like, she she had big tits. Brunette. She had a dress on. I don't know, man. She reminded me of this chick I saw in a porter. uh, A a porter. A porno. What's her name? Uh, Taylor something. She looked hot, man. And I didn't approach her. She was standing right next to me. And I was going to like ask her, hey, would you like to dance? Or hey, introduce myself. I didn't do anything. So I was at National, I mean, for an, yeah, for an hour. I went to the uh, Lucha Cartel. There were some girls next to me. Didn't do anything. And then I went to the Plow and the Stars. And there, was, there wasn't girls next to me, but there was a group of black girls. But this, oh yeah, this tall douchebag guy threw a, um, a, 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 a lollipop stick at me. And I knew he did it on purpose. And I saw him. And then he came up with me and he said, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. And I just looked at him like, go fuck yourself. This tall white fuck. He was dancing with the group of black girls. Um, and also, uh, this random guy, he came up to me at National Mechanics. And he gave me a fist bump. And he's like, yeah, man, we're going we're gonna to get laid tonight. This random guy. And then, like, 20 minutes later, I saw him leave. I'm like, that makes no sense. He just comes up to me and gives me a fist bump. He goes, yeah, we're going to do it, man. We're going to get laid tonight. Yeah, we're going to get laid. And I'm like, okay. And I give him a fist bump. I was like, I don't have it in me. He goes, no, dude. And then like 20 minutes later, after his friends finished his drink, I just saw him walk out. I'm like, yeah, dude, we're totally going to get laid. 
And that's all that really happened. Uh, right now, I, st I spent a lot, half my night was just sitting out here. It's 2.07 right now. I was thinking to myself, there's not much to talk about. These sober commentary with drunk people segments <laughs> getting worse and worse because I don't even talk to people. I don't approach people anymore. I hate people. I hate myself. I hate my life. I'm like, I just, like if I had a job right now, my life wouldn't be so much better. But at least I would feel better about myself that I at least have a job and at least, you know, I'm at least making a little bit of money. I just, I can't feel good about myself when I'm not working and I want a job and I can't even. But anyways, so um, tonight was an okay night. Last night sucked. Uh, I put dress shoes on for nothing. I put on my dancing shoes uh, for nothing. Uh, I didn't do shit. I was pretty, Tonight, I decided not to put any underwear on, uh, which, you know, didn't affect me. I wasn't sure if it was going to be cold out or not, but it's not beautiful out last night and tonight. Tonight, it was only a thunder shower. Hey, there's your weather forecast for the show. And I'm really glad tonight I got that PBR. I was going to get a, I was going to get a bottle of uh, Bacardi and charge it on my credit card. It's only like 15 bucks. And then get me a vitamin water. But then I said to myself, you know, there's no point. I mean, it was actually cheaper to actually get the PBR than it was to, you know, get the Bacardi. But the Bacardi does last me at least a month and a half if I drink it every other week. Uh, I saw a guy. I'm trying to think if anything else happened tonight. I saw this guy, this black guy. He left his iPhone or something in a car in his taxi. He, ran, he power ran down the street like a maniac. And then he um, he had a GPS tracker, and then finally he got his phone back. Um, what else happened, if anything? Uh, nah, I mean, that's pretty much all that really uh, happened. I mean, random things will come to me. Those group of girls at the National Mechanics Store next to me, were, you, know, you know, they're pretty hot, but I didn't do anything. I just stood there like a fuck. I just stood there. I didn't do anything. Um, they weren't, but they didn't seem like they even, you know, wanted to interact or anything, you know. So I didn't bother to try. But I could at least made one half-ass approach. But I was usually I make at least a half-ass approach. But I decided, you know what? I'm not even gonna make a half-ass approach. I'm not gonna, you know, do anything. So it's, you know, it's up to you to make your nights better. And I, I mean, I can do it with uh, without a wing. I don't need a wingman to do it. Uh, but uh, some guy just yelled "woo" at these two okay-looking black chicks that walked past me. Or maybe they were yelling at me. I mean, there are some people that find me handsome. What are they called? Mentally challenged <laughs> people. Some people do. It's rare. When I say some, I mean very few people from a certain angle. Um, also, this is an app called Hala. I've been going on it tonight. It's just weird. Like, I was on it earlier, and this guy, he had, like, a bag of weed and a bag of bourbon. And he was like, yeah, I'm staying in tonight. He showed me the weed and the bourbon. And then this other kid I was just talking to just told me he fucked dead bodies, which pretty much is him committing a crime. He admitted to a crime. And it's just a bunch of dudes with their shirt off. <laughs> so weird. It's like, these guys are just... Uh, I'm going to go head to the action in a few minutes. My feet hurt, man. I didn't really do a lot of walking tonight. I sat around. I was I was going to go to Center City tonight. I was going to take the shuttle bus over to Center City. And I was going to uh, go to Time or something. This jazz place with live music. And I was going to go to... Uh, or go to this Irish pub that's really packed. I decided... And you know what? Best decision I made. Even though I had to hang out down here for another night. And, you know, it was okay. It wasn't that great tonight. I You know, at least I got a drink out of it. I would much rather spend my money on a snack or a beer than fucking spend it on a cover charge. I hate paying for covers. Because there's so many places to go for free. And now the Cuba Libre charges $5 on a Friday night. I'm going to have to go there probably once a month now. But you know what? I looked at the bright side and I said, Cuba Libre, nothing ever happens. You know, like most of the girls that go there, they it's like, it's, it's like the main dance spot. And I'm not saying if you go there, you have to dance with somebody. But they don't want to dance with a lot of guys. Most of the girls are going there. Sometimes. And it's just uh, a waste of a night, you know. But it's still fun to go. Uh, and, uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, that's just how it is. But uh, I'm going to head to the action now because, yeah, my, I have nothing to talk about to my night. I guess I got about, I got about maybe 10 minutes of yapping. I'm going to head down to my train. Brought baby wipes out with me just in case. I eat uh, KFC for uh, <laughs> dinner with lots of mashed potatoes and gravy and I'm surprised I didn't, uh, just, you know, surprised I didn't shit myself or anything. 
you got to be careful. Um, so, yeah, the good news is the weather was nice. <laughs> At least that's nice, right? And now I'm walking. I, I'm not going to do the loop around thing. Because nothing ever happens. I walk by National Mechanics, just a bunch of hipsters sitting outside. I walk past big ass slices, people just eating pizza. You really need to hear that in the show. These cops are just getting approached left and right by these hoes. They love a man in uniform. Alright, so I'm gonna head towards the action. It's gonna get very loud in a few minutes. They were singing to me. Did you hear those girls? Okay, maybe I can talk to some people tonight. I can turn it on. Uh, maybe I'm probably not. Walking's around now. It's heading towards the Cuba Libre Blue Martini. There's these two black girls in the car dancing. Uh, Cross some plowing the stars. Only about a handful of people. It's not a lot. Now we're about to head to the raunchiness, my friends. Two or three people listen to this if I'm lucky. This is where uh, all the action happens. Yeah, man. I see the same people sometimes. Oh yeah, so a line tonight I came up with that I was gonna use, but I didn't. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, hey ladies, get your freak on. I gotta say it to these girls right here. Let's see how they react to it. Hey ladies, get your freak on. <laughs> they liked it. See, I saw. I talked to somebody tonight. So guys are talking to girls. I imagine that black girls react to that line better than white girls. I imagine if I said that to a group of white girls, like what? What if I say it to uh, to a group of white girls? I gotta try it with some white girls, man. I imagine they would look at you and be like, what? Oh man. I'm about to go outside uh, the Continental. Those girls, I thought those girls were going <laughs> to... Two of them reacted. And the other ones didn't. Alright, so... Lots of cabs and Ubers. It's 2.15 in Olsen, of course. I don't know if I can actually make it across here. trying to get past here. There's so many fucks. Alright, so I'm outside the Continental. Lots of people are in my spot. Hey, this is my spot. What are you people doing? You have to stand here. This is the Josh Jacobu spot. They must listen to the show. Uh, so, yeah. Um, i got a few minutes to talk. I, I need to make the most of my nights. I see the desperate Asian girl I was talking about. She's always out here. And this guy with the suit jacket is talking to her. He was talking to her last time. Kind of feels like deja vu. I think I've done this segment. I mean, I, I, I actually want to get rid of the uh, Josh Cass segment. And I actually want to start doing something different on Saturday instead of this. Because I realize my nights are really not that interesting. If you listen to my, my nights, they're really not that exciting. Like, as you can tell, nothing happened. A guy threw a popsicle stick at me. And I just said to a group of black girls, hey, get your freak on. Which I should have did all tonight. That was my line tonight, but I didn't. Um, I hope the, I, I think that I hope the train's running. I don't want to take the shuttle. The shuttle bus is a little bit longer. But, uh, yeah, there was a lot of, uh, I mean, there's always homeless people in Old City. But there was, a, there was like these homeless black guys. And there's homeless people of all races down here. And they were just fucking, like... Drool. One of them had like drool coming out of his mouth, which is not gonna make fun of him. Like it almost looked like puke, and he's just like, Ugh. and he just kept harassing people. I felt bad for him, but I'm like, you know, this other guy. While I was on the uh, chat holler, he kept. He thought I was talking to him. 
He said, yeah, man, Saturday night. I was talking to this guy on the chat. But, uh, yeah, man. There's lots of cabs are pulling up now. How does he put... These girls are asking him, how much money is it going to cost for us to get the right now? How is he supposed to know? But, yeah, um, nothing really is interesting going on. Lots of girls are... Uh, most of the street harassment is outside the Blue Martini. Outside the Blue Martini is is uh, where the street harassment lays. And uh, this, these girls are messing around with this taxi driver. And now they're getting in. Hey, ladies, get your freak on. <laughs> I said it to them as they got in the cab. Awesome. Whoa, what's going on here? I don't know. It's a group of hoes cheering for something. Um, I gotta wrap this up. I mean, what's going on here? What am I doing with my life? What am I doing? These hoes ain't giving out no pussy. They're selfish with their pussy. I gotta turn that into a musical. <laughs> I think that'll be wickedly awesome. Oh, I see what's going on. So I figured out these girls are all bachelorette party. They're they're the fat pig isn't getting attention. So now the fat pig's coming over, just like all every group of girls. And now she's telling her friends we gotta go. So this is why you don't want to talk to girls at night. They don't deserve any attention. Because you try to talk to them, and then the fat pig who gets no attention, the fat pig who gets no dick, will come over and blow up the, the, the grenade, they call it, and fuck up the whole thing and say, oh, we gotta go, because no one's talking to me. Because nobody wants my fucking gross ass. I'm gonna pull you away. So... So yeah, they worked. The fat pig officially pulled her friends away from the two guys, and this is why you know, that's why this is one of the reasons why I want to I give up, folks. I want to have more fun, but I just don't want to approach these hoes. But I like to say random things to them. Like that's fun, you know, like get your freak on, get your freak on, get your freak on. I gotta use that line next week. Uh, it's two twenty right now. Um. There's hoes outside the Cuba Libre. None worth talking to, in my opinion. My standards are low. And I don't think I will talk to any of these hoes. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, listen. Perhaps I've said too much. Uh, yeah, let's wrap this up. There's nothing going on but street harassment. Hoes screaming for attention. People waiting around for their cabs and Ubers. People just talking. People getting pizza, cheesesteak, same thing. Josh Cass, Silver Commentary, Drunk People. These hoes ain't giving out no pussy. All right, you like that song? Comment and let me know. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. It's Sunday night. By the way, I slept on it, if you listened to the last segment, and I decided to put the episode up against Bee Lions and Enam and Derek, the other three people to show. I decided to put the episode up, which is a very shitty thing to do because I spent over three hours recording and editing, and I decided, you know, I'm going to put this thing up. So, Beeline just sent me a text message about 20, 30 minutes ago and said, didn't I just ask you not to put that episode up? And in my head, I'm like, no, you told me not to, but I put it up on, I'm not going to put it up on YouTube. I put it in the iTunes JoshCast archive, if you want to listen to it. It's like an hour and a half episode. It's pretty long, but it has Nick Doritos as the guest, and I think it's a really good episode. I listened to this three times. I think it's funny. I think it's worth listening to, and I'm not going to sit here and let somebody tell me to not put something up when I worked hard on something. And on top of that, I don't care if it ends the friendship. I know it's selfish of me. I know it makes me a dick. I don't care. Fucking sue me. So let's get to the odd and top weird news, topical news, and we will wrap this episode up. All right? So this is going to be episode 269 because the other episode is the lost episode. Okay. Let's see. Amber Tamlin said, I'm done with not being believed. I don't know. Is she a Scientologist? I don't know who she is. I'm guessing. Irma's Aftermath's resident returning to Lower Florida Keys. It says, 
uh, Florida Keys Marathon Strong. Sign language interpreter at press conference sp <laughs> sparks outrage. Sorry to laugh. What did he do? Signed nonsense during hurricane. Oh, after a sign language interpreter signed nonsense. So this guy was obviously, it says, uh, in a pinch, needed to fill a sign. So they, heard this, they hired this guy, Marshall Green, a lifeguard. But instead of conveying the appropriate message, Green signed incoherent nonsense. Like, help you at the time to use Bear Big. Okay. So he did something he wasn't supposed to do. But uh, and they're like, hey, dude, that's not what we hire you for. You're supposed to interpret what we're saying. Let's see. Um, Georgia Tech student killed by campus police. And there's a lot of, you know, football sport uh, news going on, which I don't care about. I'm not a sports guy. State Lewis protests continued in third uh, consecutive day. <clears throat> what are they protesting? Is this All Lives Matter again? What is this protest about? Uh, oh, over police acquittal in State Lewis. The wake of acquittal of a white former policeman in the fatal shoot of a black man. It's always that. And there's always a bunch of phony white people. It's mostly black people, and it's always some phony white people that are there. Surveillance footage shows hero UPS workers fended off armed attacker. So, uh, let's take a look at this right here. UPS worker held as hero after fended off, off uh, armed men with crowbar. This is in Gardena, California. They should get a raise. It makes me sick when I see, like, Walmart employees and other employees beat somebody up for stealing or something, and then they usually get fired. We don't, we don't condone that here at UPS. It's like, fuck you. Give the guy a fucking $5 an hour raise for what he did. New footage shows devastation in Bermuda after Hurricane Irma. It's just mayhem. It looks like a fucking, uh, a fucking wrecking ball. Uh, cop pleaded guilty to using a sex toy on women. Not a woman. Women during traffic stop. Why didn't he use his dick? Why the fuck would he use a sex toy? A suburban Cleveland police officer accused of using a sex toy on two women during an illegal traffic stop has pleaded guilty to charges including gross sexual imposition. Uh, East Cleveland officer uh, Kenneth Bolton, no, rela no related to uh, Michael Bolton, pleaded guilty uh, to misdemeanor if you're with civil rights, dropping a kidnapping charge. Jesus. So this guy, I don't understand why he's using a dildo. Is that really arousing for a guy? What's wrong with his dick? Clinton compares herself to Kirsty from Game of Thrones. Alright. Mm. Hurricane Jose expected to hit Long Island and New Jersey coast. That's not too far from where we're at. Uh oh. This is not. I don't like Jose. It says uh, get your umbrellas and raincoats for a rainy Monday night. New Jersey and Long Island. And some amount of rain beginning late Monday night. I was going to go to Good Good Comedy Theater tomorrow, but I don't know now. We'll see what happens. Oh, skydiving couple, a couple has epic gender revealed mid-fall. So I guess that this woman flapped out her cock. Uh, Marilyn Manson opens up to his uh, feud with the Beeb. So what is his Beeb about? Uh, opens up about his unexpected and how he got revenge. Uh, he opened up about how he feels about the young generation uh, looking up to him. They should be looking up to me. Me and my crazies. I, he says, I saw a little girl in a pink hoodie with blonde hair. It turns out to be Bieber. I sat down and I say, hey, so you wore my shirt and everything on stage, Manson recalled. He was one of those touchy people that hit you when they talk. Then he comes up about dick height. Then he goes, I made you relevant again. <laughs> the disrespectful remarks. So uh, I replied, that was a great idea you had about doing my song, The Beautiful People, at the Staples Center tomorrow. And he goes, yeah, it was. And I told him the idea I just made up, Manson said. His tour manager sat down, and I asked, what time is sound check tomorrow? What time should I be there? Because we want to do Beautiful People, obviously. With 4 p.m. roll the next day, I just finished up. Sounds like to me, um, oh wait, they're, they're very much alike. We know we are wrong here. Just take as many dollars as you want so you can double, so it was a double fuck you. So it sounds like to me, Bieber got the best of him. Bieber did, uh, Bieber smacked him. He alpha mailed him. He smacked him with his big dick. And, uh, Marilyn Manson gonna take it. Uh, Jim Carrey to star a new Showtime comedy series. I watched his show, I'm Dying Up Here. For those who have Showtime, show called I'm Dying Up Here. It's about comedy in the late 70s and 80s. Pretty good. But Jim Carrey's doing, he's gonna star in another one. He's directing that show. He's gonna be, uh, starring in, uh, 
New York City prepares for Super Bowl security events. Who's gonna fucking, uh... Who's gonna be the fucking halftime star this year? Is it gonna be, uh... Doritos guy? I mean, who knows? U.S. military would destroy North Korea if involved. Cool. Let's do that. Now, let's... Uh, I want to talk about that copper neck guy. Uh, let's get to the odd news and weird news. There's a lot going on. Usually I get right to the odd news and weird news. Um, but we're going to wrap this thing up, man. We got some things to talk about. That's right. Uh, Stevie King's It is going to be expected to be a big hit. It's already getting rave reviews. Uh, Stowaway Keola survives 10 mile ride hidden behind Carl... Carl's wheel. Okay. Oh, a Keola. I can't pronounce it. It's a little bear. Kawawa. That's what it is. I, I'm stupid. I can't read. Twitter schools Donald Trump over a Tom Cruise Top Gun speech giphy. So I guess he used Top Gun? It says, uh... Alright, so I read some of these before. I'm trying not to read it. Blood leaks onto road from funeral home like a scene from a horror movie. So this shows a woman... Who's pretending to be a man hosing it? Uh, someone helped this Forklawn, Arkansas man find his missing cactus. I know this prank call guy, he's obsessed with cactuses, so could be him. But that's pretty cool. Liquid cats, crocodile beats, and a did. did Jordus uh, win LG Nobel Science Prizes. I can't pronounce that word. D I D G E R I D O. Did you do these? Uh, fake meows. Trump fans share bogus snap of him saving cats from Harvey. Shows making their great again. I uh, read some of these before. Uh, Arkansas woman used government funds to buy her dog a tuxedo. What difference does it make when she does with the money? People use it to buy steaks. Should that be goofed on? Porn stars bared their souls to bash Ted Cruz in a funnier die clip. Uh, the Olsen twins could be double trouble for the iPhone X. Why is that? Uh, Mary Kate Olsen better hope Ashley doesn't have a nefarious reason to unlock her phone. Oh, you silly twins. I heard they're not really twins, by the way. Why do they call them twins? Watch this guy do 12 flawless accents in two minutes. I gotta watch that after the show. You know? Remember Brandon DiCamillo from CKY? He used to do stuff like that, remember? Kind of stole his idea. It says, yes, Twitter loves porn and porn loves Twitter. Porn stars doing selfies and such. Male tennis fans don't skirt to play Wimbledon women after shouting advice. This guy's wearing a skirt, this fat, middle-aged, bald, white guy. Uh, skin lump probably doesn't taste like chicken, but sure, it looks like it. So this person has a skin lump, and it looks like chicken. Ugh. Uh, the Scottish Steve Bannon is having a terrible time on Twitter right now. He's being uh, heckled and such. Uh, fallen, mi fallen Tree misses car, the scariest close call you ever, you ever may see. London Sewer overwhelmed by giant, gigantic fatberg. Porn star in Randy video liked by Ted Cruz wishes he pays for it. Yeah, porn parodies are. We talked about that in my act. It's pretty cool. Uh, creationist fan fiction features Noah fighting giants and dinosaurs. Pretty cool picture. Uh, nail pierces man's heart. It was moving with my heartbeat. This guy got a piercing in his heart and he still lived. Alex Jones now says Donald Trump is being covertly drugged. Uh, this is my. Uh, this is my. Uh, Alex Jones' impression is not that good. Uh, yeah, uh, Donald Trump is being covertly drugged. Not good, right? right. I'm no Anthony Cumia, folks. Oh, this looks like... Oh, this is gonna make you cringe. Don't even look at it. This eyeball-shaving barber is too cut an edge for us. He has a knife right at this guy's eyeball. And he's... Sh I, I don't know why would you get your eyeball shaved. Oh, I can't look at it. Shark attack victim said she refused to die after losing her arm. It's a white girl next to a black man. Uh, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Just... Just saying. Um, okay, and that's it. That's it for the show. The other stories I already read. Thank you so much for anybody who listened to any of this. Or you listened to a second of it or the whole thing. And, uh, you know, I will see you guys on the next one. It's Well You Know. You have just listened to... The World's Most Awful Podcast Show... Josh Cat.